Hello, I'm Emma Louise, and welcome to my first art video on YouTube. Since this is my first video, I should probably tell you what sort of stuff to expect on here. I'll mostly be doing time-lapse videos. I know some people call them uh, speed drawings. And I'll be doing maybe some journal flip-throughs, definitely some fan art, and of course some challenge videos to change things up and make it more interesting. And to have fun. Challenge videos can be pretty crazy sometimes. And I would really appreciate any feedback on how to make my videos better. Since this is my first time making my videos public to complete strangers. Hmm. Also, you can critique my art as well. Any improvements that I could possibly do. <coughs> my cats are fighting. Darn it. <laughs> and, okay, and I'll tell you a bit about this drawing. It is, as you can see, a Harley Davidson motorbike. And I'm doing it for my biker friend who loves Harleys. He and his wife each own a Harley, but I unfortunately don't know what year or model they are. But I decided to go with this 19... what is it? 1941 knucklehead, just because I like it. And the original plan was to have, with invisible ink, a skeleton riding on it. Then when you shine UV light on it, you'd see the skeleton. But I quickly discovered I'm terrible with anatomy. I tried and tried, and I couldn't do it. And I couldn't get the proportions. Like, I don't know how big this bike is. I had a lot of trouble. So finally I decided to doodle on it with invisible ink. I will show you a picture of that at the end. I didn't think it was going to work, so I didn't film it. And just my luck, when I don't film it, it turns out pretty good. Now, I have been drawing vehicles for quite a while. I thought it was only, like, okay, I drew vehicles almost every day for probably a year. Almost every day, not every day. But then I looked and even when I was in, like, fifth grade, I was drawing vehicles and stuff. But. My tires? I still have such a hard time with tires. This is the first time though I think I got both- Oh, my cat just puked. Oh, great! This first video is not going well. I'll just ignore that. Okay. I was talking about tires. This is the first time- I'm gonna just reposition myself so I don't see that. Um, the back tire, I had a little bit of trouble. But pulled through. Tires are really difficult because you'd think they're round. You know, like just get a protractor and draw a circle. Angles, they're not really round. I might do a little video on tips and tricks for how to draw good tires because I might have it figured out now. I also finally figured out how to do spokes. I used to avoid old vehicles just because I couldn't do spokes. But on this bike, I figured out how to do that. And I guess I could tell you my secret. I mix white gouache with a little bit of black watercolor to make just a gray gouache. I guess I could buy gray gouache, but hey, why do it when I can be cheap? And then you just figure out the pattern, like, I don't know how to explain it. I used to try and draw every single spoke, but you really can't. You just have to figure out the pattern and then repeat that pattern over and over again in your drawing. Another tip for drawing vehicles, shadows. When it's just a bike or a vehicle on the page, it looks good. But when you add that shadow at the bottom, it really pops. Sometimes it can be a bit scary at first, putting a big random blob below your drawing. But if you mess up, no one's really going to notice because it's a shadow. It doesn't have to be perfect. My shadows are never sharp, they're just kind of a... Yes, there's a shadow there. I like them that way. This drawing took... I think... I might crack myself in the description below, but I think it took about three hours for everything you can see under normal lighting, and everything under black light, probably another hour and a half, I'm guessing. And I'll also put a list of the I almost said ingredients. I'll put a list of the ingredients down below. List of supplies. Another thing 
I used to do uh, the uh, the label, the name in the corner. Is it a title? I don't really know if it's a title. I consider it more of a label. That I used to put no effort into because I considered it to be like my signature. So I just use normal handwriting. But now I realize it's actually a part of the art. People are going to notice the bad handwriting because it's the only thing out of place. It's the only thing that isn't straight. So this is the first piece that I put an effort into the handwriting. And I'm glad I did. I'm going to do that every time now. Everything is going to be perfect. Now we're at the end of the video, so I shall thank you for watching. And I always hate it when people say this at the end, but please like it. <laughs> Subscribe and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Have a good day.